April is Earth Month, and we are less than a week from Earth Day. Uh, that timing matches up really well with an email from Mary in Minneapolis. She wanted to know what can the average person do to help reduce global warming. Good question. Jeff Wagner helps you find the motivation to try things big and small. Two interviews. I drive Tesla, which is an electric car. Mm -hmm. Which uses no fuel. Finding two people. So our family is minimalist, so we try to really reduce consumption as a whole. Each with their own way to slow climate change. I try to grow most of my food. A survey last year of 30,000 Americans found 72% believe global warming is happening and 64% are worried about it. But many of us don't actually know what to do. Dr. Heidi Roop is the director of the University of Minnesota's Climate Adaptation Partnership. We serve as the front door to Minnesota communities to help them understand their climate risk as well as finding solutions big and small is there a way to to create some internal motivation to feel like you're making a difference well, i always encourage people to find a way to engage in climate work where they like being and doing things they enjoy for example if you're an artist if we don't change our plan and there's no plan of change, creating a piece that raises awareness on climate change helps keep the conversation going there are a multitude of ways that we can build our own unique climate solutions journeys Popular ideas include buying an electric car or installing solar panels on your home. Impactful, but not possible for everyone, whether it's cost or location. It's why Dr. Roop wrote the Climate Action Handbook, 100 ideas to help people lower their carbon footprint, like in your home, through LED light bulbs or lowering your water heater temperature. The benefit here, in many cases, um, it can save you a lot of money on your energy utility bill. That's nice, too. Yeah. Also, what we eat and where it ends up. About 40% of the food that we produce in this country goes straight into waste, right? It's never consumed. Repurposing leftovers into new meals or composting what we can reduces waste, thus reducing greenhouse gases at landfills. And how about online shopping? By opting for slower shipping, you can reduce the emissions associated with that package by about 180%. That means instead of getting next day delivery for one item, pick a later date, allowing the supplier to create a more efficient delivery route. These are behavior changes, and in some cases they feel um, sacrificial. That's why Dr. Roop wants people to move at their own pace, but spread the word along the way. Getting there can be a little challenging, but once you're there, it's a pretty freeing process. With photojournalist Jose Pascual, Jeff Wagner, WCCO News.